In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to calibrate a single element transducer. This one's a 5 megahertz, and we're going to be changing some settings around. So I'm going to be using a cal block that is carbon steel. So one of the first steps is to get the velocity in place. It should be somewhere around there, 23, 30. And then we're going to, I'm going to be calibrating it peak to peak. And I'm going to be using echo to echo, so I'm going to turn on my tracker on. You can see I have my first gate on peak, second gate on peak as well. Next step is going to change the, the pulser. I'm gonna make sure it's a five megahertz because the transistor is a five megahertz. So all of this looks okay, energy and damp. And the mode, we're gonna change it to a single element because it is a single element transducer. As you can see, we can have we have our main bang right there. And another thing, we want to make sure that our filter is within the range of the transistor that we're going to be using, which is five megahertz. In this case, we have a filter of one point five to point eight five, so we should be good. We have that set in place. So the way that I have set this is my thickness reading, and this is my echo to echo, and of course my amperage. I think else is really not relevant. So our first step will be hitting this back button here. And we, we bring this back to this screen. And our zero, you could see it's at zero right now. So we're going to be moving that around. So I'm going to put this transducer into this the second step wedge. And this is a 0.200. So we're going to move our gate into place to where that should say two. And we're gonna move our our gain up to 80 dBs. As you can see, it's out of place. Our echo is good because our velocity is in good standing. So what we have to do is change our zero to make it to where this will beat 0.200. So all I'm doing is adjusting our zero and this should say two when I'm done. So as you can see right now, it's gonna be out of place because it moved. So we gotta make sure we're reading our our actual thickness right there, our actual peak. So as you can see, this will say 200 right there. And if we move our second gate is reading this right here, it says 200, because that's the echo. So if we move it to here, it should double. It should say four, which it kind of does. Point, point 0.399. We move it over here, it should say 600. And if you want it perfect, well, you just move your velocity a little bit. And if you want this perfect, well, you move your zero a little bit. It should be right about there. So as of right now, we're actually calibrating. This concludes this first video. On the next video, I'll be showing you guys how to calibrate using a single element with a standoff. All the settings will be the same, so please tune in. And if you like the video and if you got something out of it, please remember to subscribe and please hit that like button.